Hello, this is Tony Heller from RealClimateScience.com. Coal miners used to bring canaries into the mine when they were working. Canaries are very sensitive to unhealthy gases and would quickly die if they were building up inside the mine. If the canary died, then the miners would clear out of the mine before they died too. And since then, the metaphor for a canary in a coal mine has become a favorite of climate alarmists. For example, they say the Arctic climate is the canary in a coal mine because the Arctic's going to die before the rest of the world. And one of their favorite topics for proving that the Arctic is dying is warming which has occurred around Svalbard. They say this is unprecedented and is caused by humans driving around SUVs. But as I pointed out in my previous video, the same thing occurred in the same place over 100 years ago. And by 1970, the ice was building up so fast in the Arctic that the United States and Soviet governments were worried about a new ice age. New York Times, July 18, 1970. U.S. and Soviet press studies of a colder Arctic. The United States and the Soviet Union are mounting large-scale investigations to determine why the Arctic climate is becoming more frigid, why parts of the Arctic sea ice have recently become ominously thicker, and whether the extent of that ice cover contributes to the onset of ice ages. The Arctic climate is cyclical. Sometimes it warms up very quickly, and other times it cools down very quickly. By 1980, Arctic sea ice had increased to its century peak. But during the 1990s, the ice started melting again, and by the summer of 2007, much of the thick ice had disappeared from the Arctic Basin. In fact, this week in 2007, there was no thick ice left along the coast of Alaska or Siberia. This prompted our leaders to give Al Gore the Nobel Prize. And at the Nobel Award Ceremony, Al Gore predicted that the Arctic would be ice-free by the summer of 2014. Another new study to be presented by U.S. Navy researchers later this week warns it could happen in as little as seven years. Seven years from now. In the last few months, it has been harder and harder to misinterpret the signs that our world is spinning out of kilter. I would have to agree with him about his last statement. In the last few months, it has been harder and harder to misinterpret the signs that our world is spinning out of kilter. But it doesn't have anything to do with the Arctic polar bears or the climate. Over the past 14 years, the thick ice has returned to the coast of Alaska and the coast of Siberia. This is what Arctic ice looked like when Al Gore made his speech, and this is what it looks like now. Arctic sea ice extent is not much below the 1979 to 2010 average. And there's been no change in the average Arctic sea ice extent since 2006, when Al Gore said the planet only had 10 years left because of global warming. The Arctic canary is doing just fine. It's the predictions of climate alarmists which aren't doing so well. Another favorite canary of climate alarmists is the Great Barrier Reef in Australia, which they declared to be dead five years ago. And now, five years later, the Great Barrier Reef is the largest it's ever been. This is the official data from the Australian government. You can see there's been a huge increase since 2016 in the Northern Great Barrier Reef. The Central Great Barrier Reef has seen a large increase in size over the past decade. And the Southern Great Barrier Reef has also seen a very large increase over the past 10 years. Whatever was causing the decline in the Great Barrier Reef prior to 10 years ago was not carbon dioxide, because carbon dioxide levels are higher now than they were a decade ago. There's nothing new about these predictions from alarmists. Fifty years ago this month, they said that the Great Barrier Reef was doomed. The Great Barrier Reef canary seems to be doing just fine. Another favorite canary of climate alarmists is the Maldives. In 1988, they said the Maldives would all be underwater in the next 30 years. But instead of the 1,196 islands going underwater, they've actually gotten larger. January 7th, 2021, scientists at the University of Auckland found out that islands in the Pacific, as well as the Indian Ocean, have grown up to 8% in size over the past six decades. The Maldives canary seems to be doing A-OK. -okay. The alarmist canaries are disappearing faster and faster now. Last year, climate experts said that California's kelp forests were doomed due to global warming. And a year later, California's kelp forests have doubled in size. 
It's almost like climate alarmists don't understand science and they have no clue what they're talking about. Albert Einstein said, whoever undertakes to set himself up as a judge of truth and knowledge is shipwrecked by the laughter of the gods. You can be pretty certain that the gods are laughing at Al Gore, but the joke unfortunately is on us. Toto has been pulling back the curtain on these scamsters for the past 14 years. You can visit him, Kyrie, and Caesar on the web at realclimatescience.com.